this is our 35th year doing this. This cross and myself are the only two that are here right now that have been here all 35 years, I believe. Isn't that crazy? So 35 years we've been doing this, coming out and praying, and a lot of good has come about throughout those years. As one pastor talked about very early today, he would like to see us to no longer have our jobs, meaning those of us are pro-life action ministries, because this will no longer exist. I agree. Would there be no 36th year of coming out here? But if there is, we will be here, of course, to continue praying. Again, a lot has happened throughout the day. You know, by this time of the day, we've got a very small group of people here. There's about 75, 80 people here right now. But at one point, there were more than 900 people standing in this area. And throughout the day, there's been more than 2,900, probably closer to 3,000 have been here all day. So, you know, the coming and going, this whole day thing, you look around and you say there's only a few of us here. See, it seems like a few right now. No, this has been a huge crowd we've been all day. It's just right now we're at the smallest number. And I, right now, with the number of people here, there are more people here right now than there were for the first three Good Friday vigils we did total. So keep that in, you know, still there's something very good going on here with that. So Planned Parenthood, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for everyone involved in Planned Parenthood, that those who are involved in promoting abortion, performing abortions, would abandon these efforts, repent, and come into the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that those who reach out to Planned Parenthood workers with God's love would be graced by God and be amazingly successful. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that those who have left working at Planned Parenthood would continue to come into a fuller knowledge of Christ and become full members of his body, the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us also pray for families experiencing a crisis pregnancy, that they will seek life for their children and not abortion. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That boyfriends, husbands, friends, and family members of the women will hear God's truth and aid in saving the lives of the unborn. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That they will find help from our churches, family, friends, pregnancy help centers, and other pro-life agencies. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer that the desperation that has brought them to consider abortion will cause them to turn to God and find hope and strength in Him for all things. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us also pray for the cyber counselors and prayer supporters who come out here every week. That they will be successful in reaching out to the women who are scheduled to abort their children. We pray to the Lord. That their prayerful presence outside Planned Parenthood will deter women from aborting. We pray to the Lord. That they will be protected from all spiritual and physical harm. We pray to the Lord. That they remain prayerful, peace-filled, and grace by God for this important work. We pray to the Lord. And let us pray for all pro-life agencies and work that take place, that God's will be done through their ministries, we pray to the Lord. Let us finish with the closing song, Crown Him with Many Crowns. We sing this song at the end on Good Friday after this prayer vigil because we recognize that though, yes, there is a cross, there is a death on this cross that took place, we commemorate that, we remember it, we go through this entire day looking at this, we even venerate the cross in this process. We remember that Jesus died on that cross, but there is the third day. And on that third day, he rose again. There, we know that already. 
It isn't like we're closing our eyes to what will come. We know it's already come. So we also look forward to that even on the solemn day of prayer. 